what's up youtube it's your girl tiana and i'm back with another video and um, i know y'all about to see a video already of me in this outfit but that clearly tells you i'm just filming and creating content for y'all and today my main focus is tips and facts that y'all might want to know before entering college um for a so freshman in college, this is guided towards y'all and anyone younger wanting tips about college before they even get there, this is for y'all. So I'm just going to give like 10 tips, um, maybe more. We'll see where this video goes um, as to what you really need out of your freshman year. So let's get started. <laughs> one's gonna be to find an acquaintance or a friend in every class you take promise you best idea of your life of your life because the more bonds you make or like the more acquaintances you have in those classes the easier you are to make study groups um, the easier it is to really follow up on like questions you may have that they might be able to answer for you um I also think that um with that like not only make an acquaintance but like also get their number or snapchat something to like communicate with them because college ain't easy and nor is it set up for you to figure things out on your own it prepares you to figure out things on your own but it's not like you still got to learn and in order to learn you have to learn from others so by doing so you should be able to communicate with other people from your class besides your professor as to what questions you may have because someone can understand something better than you may and they can always help you instead of you going straight to the professor Tip number two is don't miss lectures. Promise y'all, there's going to be times where you're like, oh, I really don't think I want to go. Things are already pre-recorded, blah, 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 well, not pre-recorded, but like classes recorded. And that all depends your professor. I've had classes that aren't recorded and I've had classes that are recorded. And I feel as though is best that you just attend um you may get more out of something by attending and then re-watching the lecture than to not attend the lecture and just watch it so i would say attend the lecture because even when you don't have it recorded you're screwed you're missing out on so much information that you will need for exams these teachers literally give you like information like you'll sit in the lecture promise you and be like okay like cool like i'm understanding this stuff yada yada yeah and there's like things on the powerpoints that you're kind of paying attention to but not really or you're paying more attention to the powerpoints than what your teacher's saying and then you're like at the test like i don't remember any of this and you're just stuck so it's just nice to listen to your professor as like along with looking at the powerpoints because the powerpoints are technically for the teacher to remember what they have to say and not for us to understand what they're saying in a sense so you have to play around there's some professors that upload their like powerpoints and then you can also see their footnotes and whatnot that give you more further explanation but that's not every professor three as i mentioned before like if your classmates may understand something more than you it's always nice to go back to them but most importantly it's always nice to go to your professor for information especially when tests are about to come like if you completely don't understand something and your friends can't help you understand it that's when you really should go to a professor and go to their office hours and a like i would say take advantage abuse it um if you have to because literally that is what gets you that that grade that you may want or the grade you may need to 
to help you grow as a student so sometimes professors are able to give you more information about something that they didn't really talk about in class in their office hours for you to understand and so take advantage of that because not everybody is going to be able to help you as much as a professor can because it's the professor's material like at the end of the day they're the ones who are giving out the exam four would be you will fail you will get upset in college about grades you're receiving because college grading isn't the same as high school grading so you may end up thinking like oh college is gonna be easy like i'm a straight a student now all i have to do is do the same things that i did in high school and sometimes that's not the case if you you have to sometimes go above and beyond of what you did in high school to maintain what you had in high school so there will be those times that your tests aren't what you expected your test to be and you just have to accept it and move on and try to figure out how you can better it and just find different ways to improve your grade without just focusing on that grade because little do you know these tests won't get curved you won't be able to get those opportunities to fix that grade that grade is that your grade like you can't change it that's on you now it's not on what the teacher can provide for you it's on what you can provide to yourself five you want to pay attention to where you're studying where you're surrounding yourself um i made a mistake of choosing so part of my first semester i spent a lot of my time in my dorm um and i would say that was my mistake for the simple fact that like towards the end when it came down to finals time that's when i like spent all my time in the library and tried to study so that like i can have good grades uh and i should have been doing that the entire semester but like going back to your room is like your dorm is always so nice and like relaxing and that's where you get yourself distracted so i would say find a different place that may not be your dorm it can be your dorm but if you're gonna be at your dorm sit at your desk and not study on your bed like i know for all of my high school my bed was my designated like study place but now that can't just be your designated study place like now you really have to like venture out like let me tell you those twin extra larges begin a little too comfortable too too comfortable at times and those naps be hitting so you're gonna catch yourself doing homework studying and you're gonna feel like you're that twin extra large gonna feel real comfortable and you're gonna be like wow i want to fall asleep and you're gonna knock out and then you're not gonna study because when you wake up you're gonna be like fuck that so I would say just get away from that bed, please. <laughs> so on that note, parties start on Thursdays. The weekend really does start on Thursdays. You just have to find yourself to wake up if you have like an 8 a.m. on that Friday. And surprisingly, my first semester, surprisingly, like I had an 8 a.m., so surprisingly i would wake up for it but i hated waking up for that and then i used to think like oh i can wake up and like in high school i had no problem waking up and getting to school by seven o'clock da, 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 da. like imagine like oh i can wake up for seven o'clock in high school i should be able to do it for college whoa when i told you them twin extra largest be hella comfortable with they be hella comfortable and waking up for an 8 a.m ain't it so if you don't have to don't do it please don't take 8 a.m oh back to school sorry <laughs> um back to high school treating you nicely a lot of professors in college don't remind you of your assignments and it's up to you to ask questions about your assignments and when they're due 
if it doesn't say it on the syllabus or if the syllabus is wrong or your syllabi went a different turn. It's your job to email your teacher or your professor about that stuff. It's up to you. Okay. <laughs> it's up to you. Put your syllabi and calendars. Just write out. Keep a planner. High school tries to help you to stay on task by telling you to buy them, buy a planner from them. <sighs> now it's time for you to buy a planner for yourself. That doesn't mark down every class that you're taking. You have to write it down. And just stay on board, stay on task. Lastly, focus on yourself and your well-being. Being in college is draining and being away from your family is a different lifestyle. And so focus on yourself um, and your self-confidence, your everything. Because there are therapists on campuses, I would hope, um, for all colleges. At least there was at mine. So I would hope that you guys, if you need the, a therapist, go for one. And if you don't, you don't. But focus on getting yourself healthy. Don't focus on everything that's happened in your past. Because honestly, college is a new chapter for you. It's a new chapter of independence. Uh, and something you need to learn um, in order to grow. So focus on yourself and your mental health and your own health. Um not only your mental like working out is just a great thing to get your mind off of school for a little bit when you need to so just focus on anything health wise anything healthy for you do it like don't waste your time digging yourself in a deeper hole of like misery when you can just improve yourself and try to improve yourself and find different ways to improve yourself so on that note i'm gonna leave it at that those are my tips for college if you want more tips about your first year at college different topics about college feel free to comment down below i would be more than happy to let y'all know and whatnot so without further ado don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video Bye bye i am a sailor Who's probably gonna sin again? Lord forgive me.